this is because you know over the past hour we've spoken so much about uh, web development and moving to the cloud and one very essential factor that most of us forget is tracking your users and this is really big business you need to know what your users are doing you need to know how they come in how they're navigating your website or web application for that instance and and this really helps you tweak and make your applications better and your websites better and uh, three main tools that we're going to use to do this is google webmaster tools then there's google analytics and google website optimizer and the reason that they're all in a you know in a loop is because one one of these tools is it just leads into the other and using each tool makes the other two even more important so i recommend that you use all three together and this is the agenda i'm just going to introduce you to these these three tools and then i'll go into detail of each of these tools and i'll just conclude so uh, actually i put up this code because i thought you know i could be fancy for the first time uh, using quotes and all that so uh, you know what what he's really trying to say here william potter if you read the quote is that okay so what he says is information is a source of learning but unless it's organized processed and available in, to the right people in a format for decision making it's basically a burden and not a benefit and to get through this kind of uh, information and organize it we have these three tools it it just basically takes all the guesswork out all the hard work out for you and makes it very very easy for you so as web developers we know that you know if you want to measure the success of your website it's successful when you have great content great traffic and you're converting well but it's not easy to generate traffic and what's even harder is bringing back those visitors to your website so you can have a great product like you know the teleport team has a great uh, you know idea but unless you have traffic unless you have people coming to your website there's really nothing you can do about it it's just, it's just a sitting duck so uh, and then we have as web developers there's just so many things that we need to consider we have you know layout and style we have content images search search has become a very important aspect of, of websites and then there's the menu structure how to get to your uh, how to you know help your visitors navigate to their content without having to go through you know hundreds of links and this just this just keeps growing and growing so we have three free tools from google and uh, these tools will basically help you get your site onto google make it readable make it indexable and it'll help you an analyze your visitor metrics and also help you make changes based on what you analyze the first tool that webmaster tools it's going to help you maximize your exposure and this is specifically targeted at google so to help you uh, help the google bot understand your website that's mainly what this does the uh, second tool that's analytics and that helps you understand your users behavior this is really the uh, jewel in the crown and google website optimizer helps you improve your website so it, this basically answers uh, you know questions that web developers generally have in their mind you know why can't people why aren't people finding my website and even if they're finding it why aren't they buying anything on it why aren't they coming back to my website and what are they looking for on my website how are they navigating it how are they behaving on my website the first tool that i'm going to discuss is webmaster tools and this is going to help you maximize your exposure so uh, your benefit for using webmaster tools is basically because you know by now that as web developers that you know uh, search engine visibility is very very important companies are paying big bucks top dollar to uh, hire search engine optimization specialists but this just takes the work out and you know you're basically stealing that thunder and google accounts for more than 70% of all the search engine traffic worldwide and this is simple math so if, you know one company has 70% of the users it just makes sense to have your website on their uh, you know results so and this by using webmaster tools the google bot will understand your website better and this will help your website appear in the right position on the search engine and that gives you free traffic and this is targeted traffic these are users that are hungry for your content so half your work is already done you don't have to sell them anything and uh, this leads to better recognition and that leads to more conversions so there are three main tools in this and that's diagnostic statistics and control i'll just go over them briefly so diagnostics if, as you can see you know i've got a screenshot uh, this is actually from my own accounts you know even the uh, uh, bangalore jeta website was uh, we're tracking all all your data on that so uh, it identifies crawl errors crawl statistics and html suggestions so if you if the google bots having uh, trouble you know crawling your website maybe uh, as a developer while you were creating your website you denied access to to uh, you know your users and 
to the Google bot. But when you put your website online, you forgot to remove that, uh, you forgot to grant access again. So it'll tell you that, and then you can do it. And then cross statistics basically gives you how many times the Google bots on your site, how much data is downloaded from your website. So you know what content is uh, on, on the Google search engine. And then this is basically, I think, the best tool if you have a dynamic website, you know, where you have content coming up again and again and again. So the more the, uh, the Google bot crawls your website, the more data is on it. And HTML suggestions basically gives you uh, suggestions for your title pages and your meta tags. So if, if uh, any of you have ever done a Google search, and obviously you all have, uh, the search that you see, the, the main title on top is basically your the title tag on your uh, HTML page. And it, uh, they, it has great AI to figure out the next, you know, it has a small two-line description of every search. And this comes from various sources. And one main source is from the meta tags. And it's really important that you have that information also. So it will give you suggestions. Maybe you've used one title again and again and again. And it will tell you, no, don't do that and do this. And statistics, it, it basically helps you understand your potential visitors from uh, <coughs> Google. And uh, as you can see, you know, we've had you, this, this basically showing how you guys found our website. And 32% uh, of you typed G type Bangalore on the Google search engine to find us. But the click through rate for that particular keyword was only 25%, as you can see. So that's something as a web, I created the uh, Bangalore GTAC website. So that's something that I should be concerned about. And then it basically gives you, like, you know, a, a peek into the uh, Google bot. And it also gives you control. You know, you can, uh, maybe you have some private pages on your website. You don't want the Google bot to access it. You don't want uh, it to appear on search results. So you can block access to the Google bot on particular sections of your website and then give, a, give it access on the other sections. And you can set the crawl rate, how many times your website uh, is being crawled. I told you again, if you have dynamic content, this is brilliant. Then you can upload a sitemap. This is basically a framework of your website. Uh, basically, all this it, it basically like the skeleton of your website, and you can put it up online on the Google uh, on, uh, on Webmaster Tools, and it'll understand your website easily. And if your website targets international users, you can geo-target your website. So, say you're getting a lot of traffic from France, you can geo-target your website to appear better in France. And to set it up, it's really a, a no-brainer. You know, you can get it done in a few seconds. Get on to Webmaster Tools, the website. I'll show you the links to all of them. Uh, towards the end. Uh, the minute you get on, you have a small uh, button that says Add a Site. I just said Google Search GTAC Demo. And then once you add it, you have to verify it. And you do this in two methods. You can either uh, you know, copy this meta tag into your uh, HTML page. Or if you uh, actually go down that drop down, it gives you another option to just upload a HTML page. You hit Verify, and you're done. You just have to wait for 24 hours. You have your data up. OK, so next tool is Google Analytics. And this kind of leads, uh, it proceeds further. And this is really the, you know, the uh, jewel in the crown. It helps you understand your user behavior. Okay, so now we're wondering why in the world is Inspector Cluzo on my slide? How many of you have watched the Pink Panther? OK, so now you're wondering, why is he on there? So basically, why I'm telling you this is because, so he uh, he's a detective, and uh, OK, if any of you haven't watched it, go watch it. It'll make your day very funny. So uh, he, on the second movie, he actually has a small black book where he records everything uh, he notices in his uh, supposedly important parking ticket issue. So and, and this eventually helps him solve the case. So analytics is something like that, except uh, way, way, way less clumsier and more organized. So it's a brilliant tool. Helps you understand your user behavior, content, popularity. And this is a screenshot of gtags.org, I mean, a Bangalore gtags.org website. Uh, we've had about 827 visits, 2047 page views, uh, and 2.47 average pages per visit. That's obviously no one can visit 2.47 pages. That's an average. And the bounce rate. Now, see, this is something that I have to be uh, worried about, because 49.33% 40, of you who are coming on to the website are actually doing nothing on it. You're going back. And I have to be concerned about that. But you're spending a fairly good amount of time. Those of you are actually on it, and I'm happy about that. So it basically takes the guesswork out for you. Uh, 
and it helps you understand everything how how your users are navigating it helps you unlike and unlike uh, webmaster tools which you know you could uh, argue with me and say well you said you get statistics on webmaster tools also but unlike uh, webmaster tools with google analytics you can you can uh, know where traffic is coming from from all other sources not just from the google search engine and you can also know on a map you know you can pinpoint and say geographically where your users are coming from so say you have a uh, you know a, an e-commerce website most of your buyers are coming from uh, italy so maybe you want to localize your website for italy and you want to have more advertisements on that space in italy and localize and if, you know uh, it becomes much better when you combine it with adwords we'll probably go over that in another session next time adwords is basically a advertising network on uh, google <coughs> so you can place your ad advertisements on google and then you can combine that with your conversion goals you know every website is created with a goal so you know be it uh, selling something or collecting lead generation anything and it also tracks e-commerce by values so you know you can say what the average order value was or the uh, revenue and and the conversion so you know a possible question could be where are my visitors coming from and that's uh, the cartoon version of inspector clues of by the way so uh, So Inspector Cluzo says, uh, "Have excellent news for the marketing team." And then he says, "Of all the traffic on your website, 83.68% came from India, 10.76% from the US, and the rest from other countries. In India, 85.55% traffic came from Bangalore city. So that's this is a group on uh, on technology in Bangalore. So most of you came from Bangalore. And here's a screenshot. And that's exactly what I was telling you. You can view your visitors on the map, and it has kind of like a heat bubble." so the bigger the bubble the more users from that particular place another question could be uh, which websites are bringing me traffic so i told you webmaster tools tells you only from google but here in analytics you can get information from any website so he says uh, a large percent of visitors are finding you on twitter gtags.org and facebook and then you know you could consider uh, advertising your website using adwords and also use offline campaigns to bring your visitors to your page and here's a screenshot of that also of how that looks and actually to explain analytics would require an entirely you know a, a dedicated session but uh, here's just an overview of all the features if can you read it is it okay but basically it's uh, it's divided into four sections that's visitors traffic sources content and goals and uh if you expand each you get uh different options to under visitors you know you can understand where your visitors are coming from you can map you can view, view that on a map uh you can also track your uh visitor loyalty how many of them are coming back and under traffic sources you know where you can understand where which other websites are linking back to you and one of the way that page rank the uh, uh system that google uses to understand which websites more important is that it counts the number of uh, other websites external websites that are linking to your website so the more number of links to your website it means that your website is more important naturally so now you can understand which websites are linking to you and then under content uh, you can understand how what kind of uh, uh, how you it, it actually gives you an overlay on your page itself to see uh, how your visit how long your visitor stayed on that page and what they click next and what they click next and what they click after that and the next is goals i really haven't set it up but uh, it kind of gives you an idea as to how you can uh, so say you're, you have an e-commerce website and then you have a landing page up from your advertisement so you can understand uh, how your visitors got there how many of them so say out of 1000 people maybe only 20 bought something and it will tell you that and it will say out of that 20 maybe only seven of them actually converted they went through the entire conversion process they you know uh, checked out they filled in their credit card details maybe some of them just left there so it tell you maybe you have to uh, concentrate on that area and make it more convincing for them to continue buying whatever it is on your website and it has a great view for this it has a great funnel view so it tells you how many viewers are just going down the funnel and uh, setting up analytics is again very simple five steps you create a profile you add your tracking code give you a small javascript code just put that up on your uh, website you upload the pages you verify that the code has been installed so basically after you uh, you know copy the code make sure you upload it again and then verify it and then you could just got to wait for 24 hours to see 
for kind of traffic's coming in. And that's the code back here. It's a, it's a very small thing. And they recommend that you put it just before the uh, closing of the body tag. And there's really a very important rule if you want to get most of your visitors coming back and staying loyal. And that's to implement something, evaluate your implementation, then analyze, and that's using Google Analytics. And then you rework based on what you analyze. And that for that, we'll use Website Optimizer. I'll talk about that next. And then you implement again. And this is like an infinite loop. You just have to keep doing it again and again. So the third tool is Website Optimizer, and it helps you uh, improve your website. So again, this is a free tool, and it's hosted on uh, Google servers. So you, know, you don't have to download it, upload it, install it, nothing. So it's all there. You just have to sign up. And you can do it with your uh, Google account. It gives you access. And then uh, it basically helps you set up multiple versions of a page to see which one is most effective. And the prerequisite is that you have some sort of goal for your website. And if you, you know, have a website just for kicks, then you really can't make much use of this tool. So how it works is that you set up multiple versions of a page, okay, and then Google it evenly spreads out the traffic to all these different versions. And then it tests how users behave for each version, and then it tells you maybe version B uh, help you convert 37%, while version A only help you convert 5%. So the obvious, uh, obvious thing to do would be to you know, trash version A and keep version B. And there's really two ways of doing this. It has an A-B experiment and a multivariate experiment. The A-B experiment helps you test entirely different versions of the page itself. So this could be something like, a, like your home page or something that has you know, a marketing material and trying to sell something or a, a lead generation page or something like that. And you could have different versions of it, an entirely different version of it. And every time uh, you know, a, a visitor comes to your website, it will throw uh, a different version of that page so that you, it can analyze it. But multivariate experimenting, this is a little more complicated, but it's, uh, Google made it very easy to use. This basically takes parts of your web page. So it could be you know, images, the, the related text for that, and the headline for that. And you could actually set up different headlines, different text, different <coughs> images for just one topic. So say you're selling, uh, you're a company that's selling guitars online. So you can have different pictures of guitars. You could have different uh, of one guitar, basically maybe in different angles. Then you can have different, uh, you know, promotional copy for each, uh, for this one guitar, uh, and you could have a different uh, title for each, you know, a version of it. And every time a user visits, it's the same page, but it will keep flipping these different titles in different combinations. And uh, it'll analyze how users react to each version of it. So the A-B experiment, set it up, it's very easy. Uh, you just identify the page that you want to test. So maybe that's your home page or your product description page. And then you make different versions of that page. And then you reposition the elements that you feel you know, need work. And then you submit these alternate version URLs to Google. And then uh, you also need to submit a goal conversion page. This could be something like a thank you page or you know, order process page or something like that. But th this is very essential because if you don't have a goal, then there's really nothing you can do with this tool. And then uh, it will start. It will start sending traffic to your website, and then it will start analyzing. Multivariate experimenting, it's pretty much the same thing, the first and last step, but except in the middle. The second step, you want to, uh, you know, locate specific parts of each uh, page, and then you want to, you know, discuss this probably with your marketing team or whatever, be it and then uh, come to a conclusion as to which versions to use. And then uh, Google will give you a JavaScript code, and it will tell you where exactly on each page this needs to be positioned. And so if you get that right, it will go ahead, start collecting statistics, and it will give you everything. So basically, it helps you squeeze out the most from your website. And uh, my recommendation is that you use the A-B experiment first to begin uh, with your uh, testing because it's easier and it just gives you a much clearer uh, picture of what you need to do next. And use the multivariate experimenting if you have more than 1,000 page views per week. And you know the uh, Google Website Optimizer website has great tutorials on it. I'll lead you to the links later. So follow those tutorials. And if you use AdWords, you can also use Website Optimizer from within the AdWords dashboard itself. So you don't need to come into Website Optimizer also. And one thing that people ask is that, does this increase my you know, search engine ranking? And it doesn't. 
what this just does is it, it helps you increase your conversions. It doesn't help you increase your uh, ranking. And another question that keeps coming up is if this works with dynamically generated pages. Yes, it does. You just need to have the code on the server. So again, we come back to the golden rule. Implement, evaluate, analyze, and rework. You just need to keep doing that. And I'm just going to conclude. Uh, so basically, to get the best output, use all these three tools together. They complement each other, so don't leave out any one of them. And then these are all free tools. And uh, you know how why you need to use each tool. And remember the golden rule, you need to create, evaluate, analyze, rework, and then just repeat that process again. And I'd say subscribe to our blog. We'll have, probably have uh, tutorials next. And then you can also share your experiences with us in the comments.